Good morning, everyone. Welcome. We're just about to start. If anyone at the back would like to uh, grab a seat. A very warm welcome to you all. Um, my name's Jeremy Wyatt from World Cruising Club. I'll be your Master of Ceremonies this weekend. Um, I'd like to start by handing over to Alan McElroy, who's the senior broker here at Burton, to um, also on behalf of Burton to just welcome you to the weekend. So, Alan. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to Burton. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with Burton, it's a family-run business uh, founded in 1877. Uh, the business comprises of three divisions, so that's the full service yard, the marina and the brokerage side of the business. Uh, and just on that note, if I can introduce a few of the folks that we have here from Burton today. Uh, at the rear of the marquee here. Uh, representing the yard, we've got Simon. Give us a wave, Simon, to you. <laughs> James, Tom, and Chris. Now, they're going to be on hand all you know throughout both days on the desk there to answer any queries you have as regards refit, rigging, and so on. Uh, so they, they represent all the aspects of the yard. On the brokerage side of the business, uh, we have Sue Grant, MD. Sophie Higgs. Owner of the Labrador, you see walking around. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Michael White, back there, and John Burney as well, who's our new the yard business development manager as well. So any queries you have, John will be able to help you as well. Uh, for those of you that want to learn a little bit more about the yard, we have uh, we've laid on a couple of tours. There's one at one o'clock, one at two, and if we have a bit of over spill as well, we can lay on another at three. Uh, so I think you register for those just at the rear of the marquee. Okay. Uh, we've, uh, we've laid on a few boats today. There are four, four feature boats. We have uh, from 39 to 72 feet uh, that we decided to feature. But uh, um, that's, uh, we've got a Hubbard Grassy 39, Southerly, uh, a Warrior 40, sorry, a Southerly 420, and an Oyster 72. But apart from that, there's quite a broad range of boats available for viewing. And they're all, they are all available for viewing over the weekend. So. Uh, We'll do our best to get you on board any of the yachts that you'd like to see in particular. Uh, that said, we, I apologise, our, our countries are actually looking a little bit thin at the moment. I was reminded yesterday that we've, in the last 11 weeks, I think we've sold in excess of 1,000 feet of boats to a value of about 4 million. So it's been quite a busy spring for us. Uh, and in, in addition to that, on a wider scale through our offices in, in the States and um, and France and, and Spain, we've actually managed to sell somewhere in the region of six million pounds worth of boats. So it's been a quite a busy year thus far. Uh, most of the, about 50% of the boats that we sell, you know, are, are destined for the blue water market and be sailing the world's oceans at some point. Uh, over the next five, six weeks, we will see another circa uh, 350 feet of boats coming here ashore. So there's boats coming back from the Caribbean. Uh, from a buying point of view, one of the better times to come and see us as well is during September. We run our boat show, the collection that runs concurrently with Southampton Boat Show. And generally on site over that period, we've got somewhere in the region 80 to 100 boats. So it's quite a good time of year as well. So that's a date for your diary. Uh, we represent Discovery, both on brokerage and uh, new boat sales. Uh, and the yard here commission and refit a lot of the, uh, well, refit second-hand discoveries and a lot of their commissioning is done here as well. You'll notice that there are currently 258s afloat in the water that are just being recently commissioned. Uh, if you may also have noticed there's a large aluminium power boat sitting just behind the tent here at the moment. For those of you who are intrigued, that's an FPB 64. Uh, that particular yacht was purchased through ourselves uh, number, a couple of years ago and made its passage. It was manufactured in New Zealand and made its trip back over, I think it was 10,000 miles against prevailing winds and currents uh, back to the Channel Islands. Um, and actually, uh, during that trip, our apprentices joined it for each leg, which is, was quite a, quite a trip for them. Uh, we represent that brand. They are, they're built uh, by Circa Marine New Zealand. And they, they're built for a range of 64 up to about 130 feet. Uh, and as I say, designed primarily for sort of expedition sailing. Um, and uh, we, mar we 
designed by Stephen Dashu and uh, marketed through ourselves. Um, help desk, as I said, just to remind you, the help desk at the rear of the, the building today, there, if, or the rear of the marquee, if uh, we'll try to we'll be on that all weekend, so any queries you have on the marina side, the, the refit and the yard side or brokerage, please come and track us down and we'll, we'll look after you. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Enjoy the weekend and I say we're all on hand so please make full use of us and uh, hopefully the weather gods will, will stay on our side and stay nice and dry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just a few little housekeeping rules, if you'd be kind enough to turn off your mobiles, I'd appreciate that. Um, fire evacuation, should we need to empty the, the tent, the uh, assembly area is on the main car park off, off to your left hand side over there. <coughs> um, obviously no smoking inside, but you're very welcome to smoke in the assembly area outside. Uh, if you need the code for the um, showers and toilets, it is written on your programs, uh, on the top of the programs, and also the uh, help desk team can help you if you need to know the code. Um, one thing I do have to mention, we are filming um, the presentations today, so if there's anyone who doesn't wish to be filmed at all, if you could make yourselves known either to myself or to our cameraman, um, otherwise we'll take that as your consent. Thank you very much. Uh, good question, why are we filming it? Uh, YouTube. It's going to go out on the Birth and YouTube channel, so you'll be able to revisit and uh, and uh, watch again. What is Blue Water Open Boat? It's conversation about cruising and about boats. We want to spend the weekend talking about boats, tyre kicking boats, looking at boats, talking to people that sail boats. Joining us we've got a number of industry experts. Alan's already introduced the team from Burthen. Um, also with us we've got uh, Roger and Chris from Hamble School of Yachting gives away chaps. Very experienced. There are preferred training partners. Um, Roger will be talking a little bit more uh, in the course of the day. Um, Bill and Liz from Mobmat at the back there. And Nigel from PYD hiding around the corner. And then Beryl from the Cruising Association. Give us a wave, Beryl. Thank you. And then also um, Mike and Liz representing Ocean Cruising Club also at the back there. Uh, and least, last but not least, uh, Ian Rippington from Imre. Uh, very pleased to have Imre here as well. Um, Ian is doing some blazingly good deals on books and charts, uh, today only, he's only here for today, so um, uh, don't think about leaving your purchases until tomorrow. Now the point about having all these people here is they've all been and done it. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, I forgot my own team from World Cruising. Apologies. <laughs> Claire, Sally, Sarah and Bella. Um, we, we've all been and done it. We, we, touched, we felt, we've slept on boats, we've, we've sailed oceans, we know what it's like. And the whole point about this weekend is to talk to people, to engage with them, to find out what their experiences have been. There's many ways to go sailing, there's many shapes and sizes of boats. We're not going to tell you what the perfect boat is or how to sail it, but hopefully in the conversation with the group you can uh, find what's going to work for you uh, maybe find what won't work for you as well. So we're kind of hopefully launching you on a, on a journey, um, inspiring you and, and pointing you off in a good direction. Uh, there's a good cross-section of people here. We've got folk who, who don't have boats and are aspiring to boat ownership. We've got others that, that have boats and perhaps want to learn a bit more about where they might go with them or how to change them. And we've got other folk that are actually got their boat, it's all kitted up and they're going to cross the Atlantic this November. So a big cross-section of people, you're all very welcome, share, talk, suck up all this knowledge that's on offer for you this weekend, that's really what we're trying to do. Um, on our open boats down on Sea Dock, uh, we've got six boats we're presenting to you that have um, all been refitted for blue water cruising and we've got uh, 15 people that have done transatlantics with the Ark uh, to the Caribbean and back again. So there's a lot of knowledge from people that have been and done that kind of sailing, the kind of sailing we hope you want to do. Um, engage with them, find out as much as you can, take this opportunity of, of learning from them. It's great to have them here. Big thank you for they've given up their weekend to be here because they want to share their knowledge and their experience with you guys. So it's great to have them here. Birth and Brokers we've mentioned already. 
and yes, Ocean Cruising Club and Cruising Association, uh, both these wonderful organisations represent people out there going sailing. And that's really what it's about. It's about getting on your boats and going sailing. You can have the ugliest boat in the world. It doesn't matter if you go out and use your boat and go sailing. There's no point in having the world's most beautiful yacht that never goes anywhere. Um, so remember that. It's about getting on your boats and, and getting water under the keel and going sailing. So everything we're going to talk about this weekend is hopefully engaging you and inspiring you to, to do that. So what we hope you'll discover is um, some of the skills you might need to be a blue water cruiser, um, ideas on how you might set your boats up, um, what might be the right boat for you. And one thing I will say, and I'll repeat it through the course of the weekend, there is no such thing as a perfect boat, so you can stop looking for it now. Every boat is a compromise. What I hope you will come up with is the compromise that's going to work for you. Your choices will be different from your neighbours' choices and from my choices. It doesn't mean your choices are wrong, it's what works for you. That's important. And hopefully some pointers on how to start planning your dream. And above all, inspiration from people that have been and done it. Um, a, a mentor of mine, Sir Che Blythe, his favourite expression is, you're a long time dead. So get out there and do it, and hopefully we can inspire you to do that. And really, we want you to understand the joy of blue water cruising. What's the difference between sailing for a weekend in the Solent and sailing for six months in the Caribbean? Hopefully, we can inspire you to go to some of these uh, more exotic and inspiring places. Uh, I think I've covered who's in the tent, so I'll whiz through that very quickly. Another plug for Imray, it really is a blazingly good deal. So 20% um, off on sales of charts and pilots. And I believe you'll also ship them to people, won't you, Ian? So you can order your Imray publications uh, and other titles um, from the Imray range. Uh, and they'll ship them to you as well. And if you're in the UK, they won't even charge you the carriage. So seriously good offers from Imray today. Uh, Ian particularly wanted me to mention the Atlantic Islands Guide, which is coming out next month which covers uh, Canary Islands, the Azores and Madeira, the kind of places you're likely to be going to if you're looking to go to the Caribbean and back. And also new for this year will be a guide to Croatia, for those of you aiming towards Mediterranean. And on that subject, we're very pleased to have uh, Rod Heichel and uh, his wife Lucinda joining us uh, at the end of the session today, where they'll be talking about their cruising life some of the places they've been to and some of the books they've written. And I believe uh, if Ian is still here, Rod might be available to sign copies of his books. Open boats, um, kind of covered this already. It's basically trying to show you that you can do it on all sorts of boats. Um, different shapes, different sizes, different layouts, getting you thinking about what's going to work for you uh, rather than necessarily someone's opinion of what should work for you. Do talk to people, do look at the differences, try and understand. By showcasing a range of sizes and layouts, keel configurations, what we're trying to get you to, to, to think about is the things in the mix of that boat that might work for you. Uh, is it important to have a centre cockpit or an aft cockpit? How are the sleeping arrangements going to work for you? One thing I particularly like to say to people is it's about stuff you put on boats. Um, you'd be surprised how much stuff you need as a cruiser. Well, do you need it? That's another conversation in itself. But people put things on boats, so think about where you're going to put all this lovely cruising gear. And also it's the food, it's the fuel, it's the people, it's the spare parts, it's all these other things that you wouldn't necessarily have when you're coastal cruising in Europe. Um, so think about space on board boats as much as um, the being fixated necessarily on the length of the boat. Um, there's lots of people coming over the weekend. We apologise if it does get busy. There may be queues uh, at times. Do bear with us. Uh, relax, enjoy the sunshine, uh, talk to your neighbours, discover and enjoy. Um, and then hopefully we'll get you on board as soon as we can. I would also point out that the open boats are private boats, so if you could please uh, respect the owner's boats, that would be appreciated. They're giving up their time to show you their boats and, uh, and share their experiences with you. We're, they obviously enjoyed it because a lot of them have done it before and come back again. So it's really about connecting with people and hopefully you'll enjoy that side of it. And don't forget, if you do want to have a look around the Burton Boat Yard, it's a great facility. They're delighted to show it off to you and the guys will be happy to take you on a tour. Uh, in your notes pack, you've got a plan in the marina. All the open boats are on sea dock um, other than the demo boat that we're going to use for the safety equipment demo, which will be on the end of B dock. 
Right, on to the programme.